Arbeitserlaubnis. Arbeitserlaubnis means work permit in German language. And this is something that's of course really important if you want to work in Germany and if you are a non-EU citizen. If you are an EU citizen, then you don't really need to worry about it because you enjoy freedom of movement in the European Union. As a non-EU citizen, you need to prove that you are eligible to work in Germany in order to start a new job here. And that's why employers here are often asking for this when you apply for jobs or also when you start a new job. It's also often mentioned as a prerequisite in the work contract that you are going to get by your employer here in Germany. I think what's really important to note about work permits, first of all, is that there is no such thing as a formal work permit here in Germany. What you can get is a long-term visa allowing you to enter Germany and to take up employment and then later on a residence title that allows you to start a job here in Germany. So very often um, people are a bit confused about what exactly is meant by the work permit. From my point of view, um, we are talking about residence titles here. So what you need to prove is that you are eligible to work in Germany, either by providing a valid visa or a residence permit. There are different residence permits in place. The most popular one is the EU blue card for academic degree holders because it's a kind of fast track to getting a settlement permit here in Germany, which really reduces your paperwork. And it also comes with some other benefits like an easier family reunion if you have family that also wants to move to Germany. To get an EU blue card, you need to fulfill certain um, salary requirements and you need to prove that you have an academic degree that is recognized here in Germany. So if you want to find out if your degree is recognized, you can take a look at the ANABIN database. And we have a really good step-by-step -step guide for this, which I'm going to link for you here in this video. There are also other residence permits, of course. So if you don't fulfill the requirements for an EU blue card, you could probably still apply for a skilled workers title or for the IT specialist title, if you are a software developer, for example. We also have a video on this channel where I've given an overview of the different residence titles available here in Germany and the different salary requirements and so on that come with it. So you can also take a look at that or you can use the quick check available on our Hello Germany website, which helps you figure out which residence permit is the right one for you. If you have entered Germany on a tourist visa, then you are not allowed to take up a job here in Germany because this visa does not qualify you for employment here in Germany. If you are a student, then it's a bit different. Um, then you're probably here on a student visa or a student residence permit. In that case, you are allowed to take up a job here, but it comes with some limitations. So you are allowed to work maximum 20 hours a week, but there are some exceptions. So for instance, during semester breaks or when you do a mandatory internship that's part of your studies, then you're allowed to increase the number of hours hours you work. But in general, it's really important to make sure that you don't lose your student status because otherwise this will have an effect on your health insurance costs and your visa status. So make sure to take a look at this. 